Next, this is Group B, Mini versus Grape on New Sniper Ridge. And I forgot to mention it in the last set, but today is Protoss Day on the Nuke the Stars channel. Every single Protoss in the OSL plays today. And in fact, we have two PvPs, including this one, uh, between the two Royal Rotors in Group B. And I had a few predictions from people who were shocked and disgusted that I picked Grape over Mini to move out, but we'll get to those in a second. Except, down at the 5 o'clock position, obscured by the graphic, in blue, is a Protoss player named Mini. So Mini down there in blue. Mini blue. And up at the 2 o'clock position in teal is Grape. <laughs> Seeing double Grape on your screen right now. Do not adjust your set. Anyway. Let's get to those predictions. I love me some PvP. Well, that's not a prediction. Here's one from Yako Draco, or Yako Draco. Writes, Grape over Mini? Come on! He looked the best in round of 32 and 24. Round of 32? I think he means the prelims there, since there wasn't a round of 32. Eh, semantics. Here's another one from Dustin Drums 1. Writes, I agree with all your predictions, except... I'm rooting for Mini instead of Grape. Although they both be great candidates, smiley face. That is not a smiley face in your screen right now. That is a patented Mini frowny face. Here's another prediction from The Shimmy. Writes, I'm calling Mini all the way to Royal Road. A lot of L's in that one. But it will be important to focus on the build orders coming up soon, since this is a mirror matchup. The slightest little tweak can make all the difference in the world. And I'd love to be some PvP. Because if one player goes for Reavers, the other will inevitably go for the quad damage build. I need to find that Quake noise to throw in. I couldn't find it the last time I looked for it, but anyway. Yeah, and the gateways and the assimilators, nothing too special from the dudes yet. I had trouble looking up their uh, Protoss versus Protoss background, since they both have not much in that regard. Many... Uh, showed some pretty confident play, I can definitely use that adjective, against Fantasy. Very confident, kind of foolhardy as one subscriber put it. But that doesn't always make a good good player. I love it when a player plays like that, plays like many did versus Fantasy, which is just all out, balls to the wall, dropping, <laughs> just sending in speed shuttles to drop on top of tanks, and just dropping Reavers right into the fray. Just praying and hoping that they won't be destroyed, but they were. So that type of play isn't always, well obviously it's not the safest type of play, but it is fun to watch at least. It makes the game interesting, which is why I was looking forward to the rest of his games in this round of 16. Looking forward to this one too. But they both seem to be going for the same thing right now, just getting up their cybernetics cores, but you can expect them both to expand pretty quickly on a map like this, since this is a four player map, big map, uh, you want to get out there and expand as soon as you can. And there's the double, gra <laughs> double grape again. Grape and grape picture. Let's see. Now things are going to start branching off, I think. See, Dragoon range coming up for both. As grape has gone out the scout. Grape is scouting down to the 8 o'clock position. Now he's finally going to find... A mini. And mini just now going out to scout. So he had the pro kind of there mining a little bit longer. And this might not even be a scout, really. Moving out with the Dragoon is going to intercept this probe. He's going to find the probe. And he gets in its way. Might be able to snipe it. He does snipe the first scouting probe. 
This gives Grape a little bit of information. He knows that the Dragoons will be out just about the same time as his. And okay, the ro robotics facility coming up for Mini and the robotics for Grape as well. So this is very mirrored so far. Besides the fact that Mini didn't go out to scout as early as Grape did. It's an excellent shirt on that guy in the audience, but okay. Holding the high ground area, Grape should have no problems fighting off any early Dragoons here from... Oh, gateways! Lots of gateways coming up now for many. So, I don't even think he's going to use his robotics facility for any Reaver harassment or anything like that. Uh, there is Grape holding the high ground area, chasing away this Dragoon. Trying to get it down to the lowest health as possible before backing off to another high ground sliver on this map. As many have joked, it does look like a swastika, but it is not a swastika, it is some other type of Asian symbol, I believe, as one subscriber. A couple subscribers actually told me. And okay, gateways coming up now. There will be three gateways for each, I think. Uh, they're bo both of their timings are pretty similar here, and the builds are definitely very mirrored. And there is many setting up to take his second base. He's getting some troops down. And is ready to intercept any early aggression from Grape. Doesn't find any. And they both, I think, have the Dragoon range upgrade ready to go now. Unless they canceled it to get up those gateways earlier. But I don't think I don't think so. I, th I think they do have the range. And we're about to find out soon. Because Minnie's moving up to his own high ground area. And he might take it all the way to Grape's base. We're going to have to see soon. Since they both built so, so many gateways... Uh, this should be fun. Should be a very large army versus another very large army. But Grape will have the advantage for a second here, having this high ground like this. Um, he'll have the high ground advantage with those Dragoons, but with this Zealot out front, many could definitely make use of that by throwing the Zealot up to take all the hits. But the, the troops coming in for Grape just the right time, he sees the amount of Dragoons in the back, so he's trying to hold the high ground, but he might be forced back by many since many is getting kind of a surround on him, the Zealot being kind of the critical factor here. Focusing in, many takes out another Dragoon, but pushing Grape all the way back up his ramp. So, this is going to be somewhat of a contain for a while, I think, unless Mini tries to end it right now. Mini moving up with his Zealot. He loses his Zealot, though, and that was kind of his saving grace in that battle on the high ground outside the natural. So, here comes Grape. He's going to focus in on the most harmed uh, Dragoons, but Grape is just losing battle after battle here, losing lots of Dragoons. And with the reinforcements flooding in for Mini, I don't see Grape breaking out of his base anytime soon. Uh, until he has um, Reavers or something like that, because, yeah, Minnie's just still hanging outside. Uh, uh, yeah, Grape didn't take any of those engagements. Some interesting, wow, very interesting facial motions there from Grape. Very expressive player. Always like to see that, because not many players are that expressive, wear their hearts on their sleeves like that. But here comes Minnie, just microing his way up. I think that Minnie will be able to take this right now if he focuses in on the Dragoons and avoids the probes. He doesn't want to be surrounded by those probes, because probes can take out Dragoons pretty easily if they get a full surround. But yeah, no Dragoons left. There's the Dragoon getting caught by the probes and taken down. Now I'm surprised that Minnie gave up uh, the high ground there for a second. Obviously he's going to try to push here in another second, but... Yeah, he does have the robotic support bay, so many will be coming in with the Reaver sometime soon. The robotic support very late for Grape, since he was focused on defending himself. And uh, getting the Dragoon Micro on uh, to try to whittle down Mini's force. <laughs> the Reaver just crawling its way to the base, waiting for the shuttle to pick it up. Lazy Reaver. And there's a Nexus on the way for Mini, just to be sure. It's a surprisingly cautious play, actually, from Mini, looking at his fantasy game in the beginning of this game. And now he's kind of falling back, <laughs> making sure he can win with an economic advantage. Chasing away the Observer, he snipes the Observer that Grape had moving down to his base. But okay, um, Grape is trying to wait for his Reaver to pop. Gonna get some Scarabs on that, make it easier to defend himself. The second base coming down for Grape as well. So many really, he uh, just needs to push soon with his Reavers. He waited, you know, he got the Reavers first before the shuttle, I think. Yeah, get, getting out the Reavers, trying to make sure he 
that a big counterattack didn't happen as natural expansion that they couldn't deal with. Uh, it's a similar mindset to when um, Protoss players play Zerg, and they start with the Reavers first to defend against early Hydra pushes at the front. Kind of a similar tactic. But the Nexus is about to come up for both second base on the way, and there is... Uh, Minnie's pushing out at just the right time because Grape uh, has his Reavers in the shuttle, or probably just the one Reaver in the shuttle. Mini moving up. He snipes the one probe that was on the high ground just to get scouting, so that probe did its job, and now Grape knows that this troop is coming his way. So he has nicely positioned Dragoons, he has them positioned all over the place, but here come uh, uh, Reavers sneaking in. So far, Grape doing a pretty good job of holding, doesn't want to lose that shuttle though, the shuttle goes down to yellow. So here comes the Reaver, the Reaver going to be critical here, the Reaver cannot go down, oh, Grape loses the Reaver inside the shuttle. Yeah, the Dragoon sniped the shuttle, so that's probably going to be it for Grape. Losing a Reaver like that is critical now, especially because Minnie has both of his Reavers. They're crawling in to the natural expansion, and there's not much that Grape can do about this, honestly. Can't get close enough to the Reavers to take them down, so Scarabs are just going to absolutely melt his Dragoons. And the Nexus here. The Nexus should be taken down pretty quickly. Oh, Double Scout! <laughs> Insult to injury there for Grape. Yeah, that's it. GG from Grape. As soon as his Nexus goes down. So some more confident micro from Mini actually works out this time around. And the question about which Royal Rotor will move out is still very much up in the air. Alright, time for the Zerg group.